Well, hello guys and guys, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be the first squad builder of the, whatever you want to call it, of FIFA 13 on my channel. So make sure, you guys, you drop a like. That'd be absolutely fantastic. If we could break 400 on this, it's a fantastic team. It's not that expensive, so I think you'll enjoy it. But before we get into that, I had posted a video talking about this, but unfortunately it didn't hit sub boxes, so I took it down. A lot of you are asking questions about stat attack. Uh, I'm going to link it down below. I talk in a video about stat attack, what's happening with it, and a lot of other things on the channel, guys. So make sure you check that out. Uh, it's only on 2,000 views, so I don't think that many of you have checked it. So definitely go and check that out. But we'll start with the team, guys. The entire team actually got to me just, just over 38,000 coins, which for FIFA 13 is not that expensive to me. Uh, first in goal, we have David De Gea. David De Gea was the weakest of this team. He was absolutely god-awful for me. I wouldn't suggest using him. Spend a little bit more money and maybe go for Czech or someone like that. Uh, first two, or the two of the centre-backs, Mr. Overpowered David Luiz here. And next to him, Mr. Overpowered Eunice Cabal. I'll show you how much I've paid for them as well. Uh, David De Gea cost me 2,900. Uh, David Luiz cost me 3,400 and Jonas Kubal cost me 3,600. Prices are changing so quick, I wouldn't be surprised if they're already outdated. The right back is Mario Fernandez here. 78 in pace is fantastic. 75 defending and 75 heading is also fantastic. 800 coins. You cannot go wrong with 800 coins for those stats, to be honest. Left back, you've got Kieran Richardson. Uh, some very, very good stats on him. 850 coins for him. So again, not that expensive, but you're looking at 85 pace. With all, look at those stats, though. Everything bar heading. He's got 73 in shooting, which is fantastic. The centre mid, which is the most expensive in this team, is Ramirez. Honestly, guys, he is the MVP of this team. He was the leading goal scorer, most assists, everything you want. 12 games, 5 goals with him. 15,500. You are not going to go wrong if you buy Ramirez, to be honest with you. At right mid, we do have Mr. McGeady. Can now do, obviously, his own skill move. 91 in pace, 71 in shooting, 78 passing, with 86 in dribbling. This guy is fantastic as well. 1,300 coins. You can't go wrong. He doesn't score too many goals. Uh, I think both of his goals are in the clips. Uh, and then on the left mid, you do have Saidi, fastly becoming one of my favourite players in the game. 88 in pace on him, 84 in shooting. Obviously, guys, his five-star skills are the same as McGeady over on the other side. So if you do like your skills, this team is for you. 1,100 coins, and he's just a, a machine. In front of him, another one of my favourites. Never used him before. Never used him in any FIFA. Adult Tarapt. 81 in pay, 76 in shooting, 85 in dribbling. 5-star skills as well, 1,100 coins, 5 goals in 12 games with him. 5-star weak foot, you cannot go wrong with that stat at all, guys. Then the other centre attacker mid, you've probably already seen him. You've got Wellington. This guy is really good, he's really fast, really agile as well. 92 in pace, guys, 76 in dribbling, 78 in heading. 6,000 coins for him, 4-star skills, 6 goals in 12 games. I think Ramirez was my top goal scorer. No, he wasn't. Wellington was my top goal scorer. That's surprising. Then up front, the monster that is Emenike. Disappointed me a little bit. Wasn't as, as good as I thought, but nonetheless, you know, 90 pace, 77 in dribbling, 72 in Henning. He got 3 goals in 12 games, which isn't fantastic, and I paid 1,500 coins for him. So, guys, it was 38,000 for this team, which I just... I find unbelievable. If you took Ramirez out, it was 20, 23 grand. It's absolutely, absolutely insane, guys. From what I've seen, and you'll see on a lot of these goals, guys, it's counter-attack, counter-attack, counter-attack with this team. Set the, whatever you want to call it, in the game to counter-attack, and you will do some amazing things. As I said, I mean, EK wasn't the best. Both of his goals, I think, are in this. It it was the midfielders in this team, guys. I mean, Adol Tarap for one, but it was just all of them. The front five, four, really, if you took out I mean, EK, was just unbelievable. Um... There's a big mix of goals in this. There's a lot of headers. I mean, Ramirez getting onto a couple of headers here. That wasn't a one-off either with Ramirez, to be honest. Um, I can't praise this guy enough. For 15,000 coins, to me, he's one of the, the best midfielders that you can you can look for. It's just the high attacking work rate is fantastic. And Kim Richardson gets on the score. I don't really know what I was doing with my legs there. But uh, he gets on the score sheet nonetheless. I just, I mean, let me know if you could think of anyone else. A nice um, volley here or half volley. Uh, by McGeady. I, I looked at changing a few players up and of course if you wanted to go more as I mentioned before you could go for Czech or maybe Joe Hart in goal. I wouldn't go for David De Gea. A few of you have actually told me that David De Gea was really bad for you as well. It, it wasn't just that I maybe was defending bad. It was stupid long shots that he wasn't even diving for or was diving way too late and it was just, I don't know, it, something didn't seem quite right with him but the rest of the team itself was absolutely fantastic. Um, Mario Fernandez maybe could have got forward a little bit more, but you can't really complain when the front five were doing as much as they were doing. MNEK seemed to be more of a link-up player. Um, he seemed to drop back a little bit more <clears throat> and 
just pass around to other people, which I guess to win games is what you want. But uh, this actually, guys, is my very first goal with this team. Uh, and it's probably my best, an overhead kick into the top corner by Asaidi. Haven't done that many times in this FIFA. I know I did it quite a few times in FIFA 12. But uh, that was great to see that first goal. But unfortunately, I didn't get too many goals like that. They were mostly link-up play. Magidi here just making some space for himself. But guys, let me know what you think of the team. Let me know if you've ever tried to build a team like this. I know a few of you probably won't like the M&EKs in it. But as you saw, he only got a couple of goals for me. So he really wasn't the, the game changer um, at all. But make sure, guys, that you do drop a like on this. That would really mean a lot to me. Especially because it's the first proper squad builder. Uh, I've got another one. Uh, to bring you as well. Let me know down in the comments below how often you want these squad builders as well. A couple more goals left. Uh, Ramirez linking up again with MNEK. This is his second goal, which is or third goal, which is very, very good from him. Um, just to get away from a few players and you know dummy them and, and all of that jazz. But this is what I mean with MNEK setting up Adult to Rapt here, doing what he does best. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the first squad builder. I absolutely love this team. I'm actually not going to sell it. I'm keeping this team, guys. So have a good day, and I'll speak to you all soon.